so beta the topic that we are studying is manufacturing account and we are doing this fourth question question number four hail and tong it's basically h okay h hail and tong is a manufacturer for one type of high quality office desk they are making office desk okay good for them helen provides the following information from her trial balance at 31st december 2007 okay now the data is given for 31st december 2007 we have sales revenue and revenue is used in the income statement and not in the manufacturing part we have purchase of raw material we have factory overheads overhead are indirect cost and we have manufacturing royalty and royalty is basically direct expense okay manufacturing royalty or production royalty or factory royalty means the same thing so direct wages are direct labor let us read uh, the question further and before re reading the further data we have the requirement and we need to prepare manufacture account that is part a so let us uh, read some other data or before reading other data let's make the format first uh, but a manufacture account is always made in two columns and we'll be starting with what we'll be starting with direct raw material okay so direct raw material would be opening inventory for raw material okay we have opening inventory for raw material and so i haven't made the format and i'm making the question directly so let us get the values uh, let us we have to read this additional information first so in additional information is gi given that 4000 desks were manufactured during the year how many units we have produced beta 4000 units we have produced this year Helen transferred the value of these desks during the year from a manufacturing account to the trading account at total price of this. So basically, this is the final answer of the manufacturing account that we solve. First of all, we make the manufacturing account and the, then we need to charge the markup and the transfer value or final value is already given here. As we can see 11,26,140. This represents a markup on cost so normally markup is being given in the question but here it seems that examiner wants us to calculate the markup okay this represents the markup markup percentage equivalence to the price helen would have to pay if she had purchased the desk from outside supplier okay so they are saying that factory is charging the exact markup that they are going to get the products uh, if they buy the product from outside market okay if outlet buys the product from some other manufacturer uh, they will also get the same price helen maintains stock of raw material at a constant value of 10000 stock of raw material at a constant value beta what does this mean this means opening and closing raw material is the same and stock of work in progress also at a constant value this means opening and closing work in progress is also the same so beta raw material opening closing is also the same and Work in progress opening closing is also the same at 31st December 2006. Now, beta, let's see uh, which is our year end. Beta year is ending on 31st December 2007. But here it's mentioning 31st December 2006. 2006 means beta previous year. Okay. So the previous year's closing would be opening for this particular year. Okay. So it's the opening for this year. Completed goods were transferred from the manufacturing account to trading account at cost plus 29 percent sir what is this this is markup but this markup relates to the previous year okay 2006 and not the current year the current year's markup beta is not given and we need to find out the current year's markup and we'll be seeing later that how can we calculate this year's markup so it's question uh, it, it is a bit confusing this question stock of finished goods were valued at transfer price at 31st December. this is basically the closing inventory for what finished goods so beta right now we are not concerned with closing inventory for finished goods in a manufacturing account we just need uh, opening closing for raw material and work in progress and the finished goods opening closing would be written where uh, they would be written beta in the income statement okay to make the outlets income statement now beta the balance sheet at 31st December 2006 this means the previous year because the current year is what 2007 now as you can see beta opening inventory uh, would be this why because this is the previous year's last year's closing would become opening inventory this year okay opening and uh, uh opening inventory for raw material and work in progress is given and uh, the examiner also mentioned this right now as you can see in note 3 that uh, raw material had a constant value of 10000 this is raw material and work in progress had a constant value of this this means the opening and closing inventory is the same 
फॉर रॉ मटेरियल एंड वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस बोर्ड नाउ बेटा एट द एंड ऑफ द ईयर फाइनली थर्टी फर्स्ट डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड सेवन मैनुफैक्चरिंग रॉयल्टीज पेड इन एडवांस अमाउंटिंग टू फोर हंड्रेड वट इज दिस बेटा मैनुफैक्चरिंग रॉयल्टी दिस इज बेसिकली डायरेक्ट एक्सपेंस ओके रॉयल्टी इज ऑलवेज डायरेक्ट एक्सपेंस एंड दे पेड सम ऑफ इट इन एडवांस एडवांस मीन्स बेटा प्री पेड and at the end of the year prepaid is going to be deducted and accrued is going to be added at the end of the year okay prepaid is going to be deducted and accrued is going to be added then we have better direct wages direct wages are unpaid unpaid means accrued and accrued needs to be added and 80% of overhead are fixed and remainder and variable but while we are making manufacture account or income statement we are not concerned about the fixed cost and variable cost so this part is not relevant for us and this uh, why it's uh, given by the examiner because there is another requirement that will be worrying about later okay so let us make better a uh, manufacture account opening inventory for raw material and how much is it opening inventory for raw material is given as 10000 okay this is the opening inventory then we need to add what purchase of raw material do we have purchase of raw material given let's see i have highlighted all of the important information and this is beta purchase of raw material and it is 230400 okay it's purchase of raw material uh, we can just write purchase as well and no need to write completely purchase of raw material then closing inventory would also be for raw material and as the examiner has mentioned that raw material and work in progress is constant so therefore the opening and closing would be the same so the amount that we have purchased means the amount that we have used this year so cost of raw material consume would be here cost of raw material consume or direct raw material consume is 230400 so beta this is the raw material that we purchase and this is also the raw material that we have used this year so beta after direct labor would comes what uh, sorry after direct material would comes direct labor direct labor beta also known as factory wages or manufacturing wages do we have direct wages as uh, sometimes or examiner also referred to as factory operator or factory operatives wages operative wages and direct wages is how much beta 358210 and do we have any accrued or prepaid yes as you can see note 6 direct wages remaining unpaid beta unpaid means accrued so what we need to do beta we need to add up the accrued here so the amount that we have paid and uh, uh, as you remember previously appm accrued plus and prepaid minus so the accrued plus needs to be added here okay so we are done with raw material then a uh, direct material then with direct labor and then with the direct expense part and direct expense means royalty okay so what is beta royalty let us see direct expense or royalty so beta we have paid royalty how much manufacturing royalties were paid by uh, helen was 17500 and do we have any adjustment yes manufacturing royalty we have paid in advance advance means beta this 400 doesn't belong to this year instead it belongs to the next year so the amount that we have paid for the following year or next year shouldn't be charged here instead it would be a prepaid and it would be deducted from here and this 400 will be shown in the balance sheet that is statement of financial position as a prepaid expense also known as other receivables okay it's an asset basically this 400 that we have paid extra so beta if we add up all of the direct cost direct raw material direct labor and direct expense some of all direct cost would be prime cost okay some of all direct cost would be prime cost so after prime cost beta we have what uh, uh, we have overheads after direct cost we have overheads and we need to charge only factory overhead here and not the office overhead so are we being given any overheads cost let us see yes Uh, we are being beta provided with factory overhead. It's two hundred and fifteen thousand. And do we have any adjustment relating to overhead? No. It's uh, just written that eighty percent is fixed and remaining is variable. Beta either the overhead is fixed or either it's variable. If it's relating to the factory, then it must be charged here. So we do not need to divide these into fixed and variable component for now. We just need to add up both of these. so beta prime cost is direct cost and factory overhead is indirect cost we need to add up both of these and as we can see there are no work in progress here why it's no work in progress beta uh, we have a work in progress but opening and closing work in progress is exactly the same 
save opening is also 12500 and closing is also 12500 then it will be cancelled out and there will be no net adjustment that needs to be paid in the uh, that needs to be taken over to the manufacturing account so this is basically the manufacturing cost for halen and this is the uh, cost that halen is getting in the factory to make the products now the question here arises that how much profit Helen needs to charge to his whole, her own outlet okay so the markup is usually given but here the question has given uh, examiner has given some twists in the question now instead of telling us markup uh, although examiner has given us the markup but it's that's not for the current year instead it's for previous year so it is not necessary beta that in all of the years the markup should be the same this depends on the company policy sometimes company can increase the markup and sometimes can company uh, want to lower the price and they can reduce the markup so we cannot never assume that the markup would be the same for from one year to the next so what we need to do beta we need to calculate markup of this year and for that as you can see in note number two total price is already given okay uh, so she had transferred the value from manufacturing account to outlet at this price so we do not have the factory markup we can uh, find the markup later and we can just move jump on to the next part and that is transfer value or market value of finished goods so beta this is the price that the uh, factory has charged from the outlet and as we can see the price is already given and what is the price that is given beta 11 lakh 26 thousand 140 okay we are already being given the transfer value of the finished goods now beta what we need to do we need to find this factory profit now and what is the reason how can we find the factory profit beta we need to find the difference between the two in order to find the factory profit okay so if the good cost us if the good costs helen 822000 and helen is charging a 11 lakh 26140 for these goods now the difference between the manufacturing cost and transfer value would be factory profit and what is the factory profit beta between the two factory profit is 304140 okay it's 304140 although in this part we are not being required to calculate the markup percentage but in the future when we will be solving uh, later part when we will be solving income statement then we must uh, uh, calculate the factory profit and then we can complete this part so we are done with part a we are learned we have learned how to prepare manufacturing account in the next lesson beta we will be solving income statement and we'll be saying how does we prepare an income statement